Good evening, everybody. We're back again. GT Masters. GT3 Masters. Wow, it seems like... I don't know. Last week we were doing this, but already we're back for Series 5 of the GT Masters Challenge here at RR Leagues. Today we're in the rather lush surroundings of Suzuka. Just watching Rick Minnesey there. Crew Chief Megacorp Works Driver. And that lovely diarrhea and spew coloured McLaren. Resplendent. We'll go through the liveries in a minute just as we uh, start to go into uh, qualifying. Surprised to see any guys out on uh, track at the moment in practice. Uh, for those of you that don't know the format, uh, the GT3 Masters limited two tyre sets uh, in the race. So if it's a 90 minute race, such as tonight, uh, they will uh, be allowed two tyres to use for the whole of the weekend. So that's this practice session, qualifying and the race. And for those uh, two races in the six race series, where it's a 120 minute race, uh, three tyre sets will be allowed. So uh, not really much point going out in practice unless you're like Bino, just fancy going out for a slush puppy. But um, choice to use either both sets in qualifying to try and get yourself a good grid slot. It's not embarrassed Rick as he tries to park that McLaren. Let's go and watch Cody Schillinger uh, on track. In the 911 GT3 there. So yeah, um, six race series. Four races will be on 90 minutes and the two feature races 120 minutes. Tonight, just a 90 minute race. Welcome to all the guys in chat. Magnus, I see you. Mr. Schmelodard, why aren't you racing? Why are you eating popcorn? I mean, I appreciate you are, but you should be in a car, man. You're good enough and quick enough. You should be handing it to these guys. Uh, Martin Kellens, I can see you there as well. I know uh, Clive's watching as well. Anybody else that's in chat, give us a shout. Say hello. Free practice just about to come to an end. A bit of a warm-up time until we're going to qualify. That gives me just enough chance to... Go through the liveries and uh, have a look. See if I've got a free cam skill. Here we go. Who's this? Well, that was my 1400 quid phone that just broke on the floor. That no, didn't break. I'm lying. Let's got the pit lane. See David Dawes Bentley there. Also teaming up. You can see one of the Paradigm Shift light, team there. Jack Camonetto. With Radek Pavlicek as always in the Paradigm Shift team. Come on. See there the short velocity Master Martin. Camel AMG goes through. Golf coloured McLaren just going through there. teammate just putting it out there another golf McLaren whoa free whoa hello <laughs> I know what I'm doing honestly I know what I'm doing one driver obviously let's see if we can swap to a different driver that is a going around anybody in the pits better Sam Cocaine Ian Paskin for the TSR guys. You may have heard of those in the. Uh, there you go. Racing with those guys in the Community Challenge. So good to see those two having a pop out in the uh, Golf liveried Ferrari. Oh god, that's going to be awkward, isn't it? It's a Golf Ferrari and there's a Golf. Was it a McLaren earlier? I don't know. Anyway, plenty of Golf colours out today. Golf getting their sponsorship in. One of the Team 77 guys going out there. Simon Fillingham. And there goes Ralph Ferrella. I'm going to get those two mixed up. I've got gone the wrong way around. And that's the end of that one. So we'll go back down the pit lane again. Some lovely efforts on liveries from the guys. Nice custom jobs from all of them. Should be very impressed with themselves. And all very, very nice. Particularly nice job there. 
Ray McLaren making the uh, the shadow team accents and just making our own little marks on it. Speed the camera up a little bit. Okay, there's a Camaletto waiting for a gap. I say I'll go out for qualifying. Lovely uh, faded golden. Do you call that? I don't know, do you know it's got no colour on it? You can see it. Look at the accents in it as well. A little truck. No, oh, he's just about to go out, isn't he? Track. Yep. But the detail that goes into it, you can see the textures involved in that is just superb. And finally. You can tell it's been a long time since I've, played, since I've used this sim. Here we go. Track with the TSR guy at some cocaine. Oh, that's not a great start for him. Uh, at turn two there, or turn one into turn two. Practicing all weekend, didn't really want to do that, and now he's in the way of one of the. It looks like that's Jim Britton behind him on a lap. Already, Jim will be screwing. And Sam tries to get out of the way, he's not had a great time is he? in that Ferrari, struggling round. Let's go and have a look at Ralph Reda, particularly because I just wanted to show you something on his liveries, he's about to go round. Ralph, as you know, one of our most celebrated drivers, as you can see the yellow accented car, so I was right. You can see the stars on the... Uh, a bit further. On the sill there, eight stars. Just uh, recognising his eight victories, uh, eight series victories with RR Leagues. Um, again, detailing these cars is fantastic. You can see on the right hand side of the car there you've got the European European oh my god <laughs> the Union Jack and if we go to the other side you'll see the Belgian flag there for Ralph he's a German he's gonna kill me for that isn't he German you know when you just need to shut up and carry on right so that's that one fantastic looks brilliant He is on board. See, time's on the left there. No one yet to uh, lock a timing. 32 drivers on the grid, full grid, nice to see. This first race. Join us in two weeks' time if you enjoy this one. We're off to Spa Francorchamps. There's a cracking race round there. Times are just starting to come. You see Jim Britton there with that three second off the lead. That's stuck behind that Ferrari, so that'll be white. Nice to head through on 30 r for Ralph. I know it's very loud on the uh, green car. I hope you can hear me. I'm just going to put Ralph and he goes down the straight. First, under this one, we'll get the time taken into the two minutes. He goes a two minute 08 puts him a second just behind Cliff Bob. Two cracking laps there, and I have seen him into the sixes and fives just off the two minute flats. So, expect some improvement there from those two. This, uh, Bob again goes a little bit quicker, he's just gone over the start finish line, and he just gets half a tenth on a red up. See the sun starting to set. This is uh, into the dusk here at Suzuka, so they will be uh, driving through sunset and into uh, not quite night time. You can see 5 6 pm for qualifying. Race start will be a little bit later than that. 
night drive into the night or into the uh, into the dusk I think is fair to say who else out on track let's go and have a look David Dorr in the Bentley in fourth second off bulk there as you can see there Sonia Alphas that BMW M4 up there into third position. Nice going from him. Half a second off bulk and Arella. Eve Martin, thanks for the chat. Keep us busy tonight and keep me awake. I'm sure these boys will be knowing what they're doing. Up into P4 goes Jan Kilic. Racing with our legs for the first time, so welcome along, Giffy. Good race, my friend. Out there in the Lexus. One, one, four. Uh, nice to see Jan Kilic doing well. Another good addition, looks like, to the RR leagues uh, as the cameraman gets confused <laughs> as they go over the bridge and under it. Well, it's just gone quicker. Just quicker than Bolt there at the top in the Lexus. Four hundredths of a second as Bolt is in the pits. Will he go out for one more opportunity or is he quite happy to save that set of tyres and sit in the pits and follow Ralph or go side by side with Ralph into turn one? We'll wait and see. Jan Kilic comes up the back straight. A hill. 130 R. Slight lift as he goes through there on the curbs. Keeps it on the curbs on the exit as well. So he's drifting a little bit wide there if you try and carry too much speed. Then the chicane he goes quick through there as well. And Jan Kilic. Let's see where his time goes. Slightly quicker, two hundredths quicker, keeps him in fourth position. Jan Kilic. Nice to see Daniel Babcock back racing with us. Welcome back, Dan. We see that Ramos sent you is helping you go a little bit quicker. Nice to see. Nice KJN. Look at the graphics. I know we didn't look at that one in the pitch, did we? That's I thought it was a Castro one, to be fair, but that's a beautiful livery he's got on that Aston Martin there. Fade to grey or fade to white or fade to silver. He's in the pits. Nice performance from Dan Badcock on his return to RR Leagues. Well done, my friend. Crew chief himself, Jim Britton. Sits down in 10th. He's in the pits and done. Who's still out? Ian Paskin. And TSR comrade. Front bumper. As you can see the pace going up here. Listen for the engine. Slight lift. Carry the curb. Oh, he's a bit away from the apex there. Gentle over the curbs. And this is an in lap. It is. So Paskin comes in. That's his drive done. Who's still out there? Right, Pavlicek still going strong. Just behind him, Cy Fillingham on track. Pavlicek currently down in 14th. Looking at that Radek, so I expect to see a little bit of improvement from him. Said that, where is Jack Camaretto? I can't see him in the timings. It's a bit of time. Perhaps he's waiting for a bit of a gap in the track. Waiting for the track map. So many cars are out there. Jack number 13. He's just going down towards Spoon, as you can see. So 
and not on a lap. That little grey dot means he is not live on a lap. So, um, presumably warming his tyres up for this lap. Ahead of him it's car number 15. Spoon. He's warming his tyres up as well, so he's going to go for a last minute lap as well. So a few of them out there just looking for some space, obviously. Emil still up, joined RR Leagues today and straight into the BMW. Quick in practice as well, from what I saw, so expect a good performance from Emil. Comes down across the line. He's on a lap as well, so let's have a 2 3 5. That's not going to get him anywhere. So he's going around again. Let's go and pick up Jack Camaletto. There's a car there parked off to the side. And Camaletto's just popped up in ninth. So Camaletto gets his lap in. Still not looking to improve. Finningham's still out there as well. Let's have a look at Cy Finningham. Everyone's gone quicker still. Still can't break that two minute mark, but he's uh, he's pulled out four tenths now on bulk, so Everyone's work is done. Bulk is out there again, having another quick go, see if he can actually get that pole position, but Ralph really pushing the boundaries here. Both Reller and Bulk have pitted now. Horvath still out there in third place, still on laps. Uh, Alpha Door uh, are in the pits. Kebig still going round, as is Fillingham, as you can see. Everybody else in, in the pits, apart from Pavlicek, who we saw when his tyres up for this lap. Still at a Magyar, still trying to improve as well. Here is Fillingham. 3-130R. Not really cracking the outside there to give him turning. So I'm wondering if Sai is... Let's see what time as he goes over the line. Return 1-3. Puts him sixth position. So... Um, Despite not taking that uh, really wide line into the chicane to give him to turn in, very quick through there, obviously. Puts him in sixth, just off David Door there in fifth. Um, and Team 77 finds himself one and seven on the grid. Kebig still going around as well. Couldn't get the sponsorship deal in time for the race, so you can see car looking pretty plain there. As Team Kebig go through its financial woes. Racing as a privateer. You'll be glad there's only two sets of tyres. In fact, Kebig has pulled up on the back. So that's his race done. Or his qualifying done, I should say. see nice row of uh, exotic machinery there in the pits virtually everybody in the pits there I think Jazz Forsberg's still out there and Jazz had a few hardware issues on the way to the race today so he's just in this really is a shakedown session and that's why he's just popped in in 29th position there as he tries to get the uh, Tries to get the setup of his car and indeed his uh, his hardware 
correct and I steering wheel was having some issues as well so there we go end of that session race session will start in three minutes or so so that will be a little quick warm up for them not a warm up but a little warm down for them before they get on the grid I suppose while we're doing that we should be doing some admin really um, while you've got time if you don't mind Give us a, a thumbs up on the video, will you? Be much appreciated. Helps YouTube know that we are uh, giving the kind of content they want us to have. Don't forget, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and gives us a chance to uh, get some more subscribers. Hopefully, one day get monetized, depending on how YouTube view it. Um, that would be really handy as well. As you can see, are our leagues. That next Sunday, the GTO season continues. Round two from Bruno. Uh, classic race last time out around Daytona. A um, little bit more uh, more challenging this time at Bruno. I say challenging. I mean Daytona was challenging enough, but that was uh, that was for the big muscles. This one's going to be a little bit more of a um, a road course and a bit more of a, well, a different challenge really for the guys for the. Uh, GTO, so join us next Sunday for that. Be a cracking look, uh, and don't forget on Thursday uh, we've got the quick quick fire series uh, with the guys from TSR and RWB in race room, the TTRS Coalition Cup again from Bruno. So if you didn't know Bruno beforehand, you'll certainly know it after this week. Um, those cars. Um, I'm not even going to talk about my performance in those. <laughs> Uh, last Thursday, uh, I raced quite well, um, but unfortunately, my race uh, race etiquette was uh, to be uh, be questioned. I ran out of fuel in race one and drive through in race two, so that explains that one. But come and join us again for the TTRS on Thursday. It's all that over and done with. Session starts in 30 seconds of time. See the guys on the grid just forming up. Alfarella there in pole in the uh, yellow trimmed Lexus on his right. David Dawes teammate Cliff Bulk there in the Bentley. Blue and red colours with the green. In fact, let's just say it's got all colours, doesn't it? Three seconds, two seconds. Here we go. So we'll have one formation lap. off gently remember only one set of tyres they don't, don't really want to go out ragging it round here the red will be kept to a certain pace so they start their formation lap I want to give a look at some of the guys down this field who we have not looked at so far Usain Magyar you can see him there in that uh, cognizant coloured Aston Martin I think it's got decent sponsorship on it, but it's certainly uh, Aston Martin colours. Very nice. Cody Schillinger, who we saw in practice, just going around in the uh, rather, I don't know what you call that, Ghostbuster, <laughs> Ghostbuster green snot, I don't know, but there we go. Very distinctive livery there, Cody just behind him. Timo Siste in one of the Camel AMGs. That's a lovely, uh, clean livery there. Timo Siste race with us again for the first time today, so good luck to Timo. Let's have a look at some of the new names I've not seen yet. Ayrton Torres. Actually, Ayrton Torres Senna. Genuinely, that's the guy's name. First, though, Ayrton Torres in uh, ACC. I feel like it's a burden to carry, but uh, good luck to Ayrton today. Driving a McLaren, why wouldn't he be? And he's left tough there, you can see, in the Porsche. Again, racing for the first time with our legs today, so good luck to him. I'm going to merge your name, Petter. I'm just going to call you Petter. Is Heber? 
We've got that right, Shaber. My check isn't quite as good as it should be, um, but Petter racing with us for the first time today. Some common names there, Rick Binnersley. Seen Rick before, good to see him on the grid today. Andre Bergsma as well, nice to see Andre back in the seat. And look at this, Andre Moll. I haven't seen Andre in a race car for some time. Fair play to Andre, back in the M4 today. Uh, it's been on 14th on the grid, so that's lovely to see. So we've seen Dan Badcock, another one of those ones who's been out for a while. Uh, back on the grid today, 12th position there. And we'll still up, we saw earlier, Camonetto and Pavlicek, 9 and 10. Uh, not respectively, Pavlicek just ahead of his teammate there. Sanyo Alpha, that was fourth. Again, the first time racing this today. And up front, Orvath. The heli cam. As you can see, the sun already gone down here. It is dark. We'll start to form up now into two trains. Couldn't even drive straight through the back of Alan Kinich. <laughs> Fortunately, cars are ghosted until they cross the line. I think, or at least until they uh, they can say go. So, only sitting too close. Anyway, here we go. Come round the final corner. Red up leads Port Crown. Red up Rob Horvath. Horvath just left himself a bit of a gap to a red up. for the lights to go green be a constant 60 60 or 80 K I think it is kilometers per hour 50 miles an hour till the lights go green that can't happen until Arella crosses the line which he does now and they go green straight away so Arella's away Orvath looking for room behind him next to Bolt Bolt goes around the outside uh, and him and Arella go side by side Mirror gra glass aside there, the two of them are through. Morello's through into the lead, Bulk second, Orvar third. David Dor there, challenging for fourth, for third rather. Lamborghini of Horvath in third. Dor, I think, up to fourth, he is. So he'll start to go through. Pretty clean start, I think. Let's go back and have a look, just to make sure. No instances in the back there. I think we're cleaning through. Back through the field. That all looks clean. Someone's gone off at the back there. So it was not bad, Dan Badcock. Not sure who suffered at the back there. But a fairly clean start. field. I didn't expect to see there. No, I think that's a fairly clean start from all of them. Up front though. Morella is away from Bulk and Horvath. Doors there in fourth. Alpha's in fifth. A bit of a gap to Kebek in sixth and a bit more of a gap then to Pavlicek and Camonetto. The two paradigm shift the Lamborghinis in seventh and eighth. Billingham's ninth. Young Kilich is tenth. In Britain, 11, still a 12th. Badcock, Mole, Binnersley dropped down a little bit at the start. Bergs was 16th, he's lost a few places as well. Sheba, Paskin, Magyar, Fisher, Toth, Forsberg, and Torres. Uh, and the other guys down the back as well. Uh, Wicklander, Stanek, Rodriguez, Rude, Dennis, uh, Sis. Uh, who's that near the back? Sakia's down there as well. He's had a bit of a, bit of a nightmare start down there in the McLaren. Back with Schillinger brings up the rear, but they're all on the start finish straight, so no massive hard luck stories. Still out in the lead, Arella. The purple marker, a pink marker against Forsberg. I'm sure if that's for session at best lap. I can't, well, I'm not saying anything disrespectful, Jazz, but if that's her on 
lap one, or lap two, well, I might be lap one, yet. Yeah. how you cross the line. Well, like, just starting to extend here. Oh, half half door. Alpha, Kebig. Uh, second and a half back to Pavlicek and Camaletto. Fittingham keeping him in close check, as is Janine Kilic. There's a gap back to Jim Britton. Another second to Stiller. Bangkok keeping him company. Let's go and have a look at those two. In fact, look at this. There's a bit of a train behind him, isn't there? So still with Badcock, and then the four cars behind them, Mole, Binnersley, Bergsma, and Mishiba. Oh, somebody goes wide there in the Porsche, that was Najiba, I think. Yeah, he's lost a couple of spaces there. It's back behind the Ferrari. I presume that's, uh, where's... Paskins Fry just behind. So he slotted to 17th place there. Bergs were in front, Paskin behind. So we'll go through there. And in front, Arella still leads from Bulk. Levath and Dor. Alpha, Kevig, Pavlicek, Camaletto. And he'll go down straight. Right, headlights start to come on. This dust starts to turn in tonight. Just drops a wheel onto the dirt there. There's Bergsma. In the Bergsma, it's Benningsley, Mole, Badcock. Oh, Paskin makes a mistake. He's onto the grass. He enters safely, but he's off to two couple of places there. So he goes behind the... Um, is it NSX? I think it was. Usain Magyar's Honda. No, it's not an Alfred, it's a Honda. My God. Change what I... Oh, no, Bergsma. You don't often see that. Call it on camera, Andre Bergsma. Wide. And onto the dirt. Just to recover slightly though, but Andre Bergsma, uncharacteristic mistake. Got all the way back down to 20th position. Now, with Najiba climbing all over the back of him, not by the inside, Magyar looking as well. Up front though, up front. Ralph Arelli, you can see the lead, already two seconds. Over bulk. Back in third, Horvath, Dor, Alpha, Kebig, Pavlicek and Camonetto. And Kilic just behind Fillingham. Jim Britton comes through, three seconds at the top ten. Just starting to break away from Jim Britton there in 11th. And the top five, or the top four, yeah, top five really, are away from Kebbage there in, in sixth. So it's a long race. Not many too many hard luck stories out at the start, which is good to see. It's come up as reported either. Which is good as well. Callum Morgan in chat. Welcome along, Callum. Nice to see you. A few other new names as well in the chat. Thanks for coming along, guys. Appreciate you watching. lead at Ralph Arella. Team 77. Cracking start from him. Head of Bulk, Horvath from Door. Alpha just starting to tag onto the back of David Door. They were pulling away from um, Sanyo Alpha, but 
He's managed to make this a five-way battle now. You can see the gap back to Kevich has, has grown slightly. And he's got... Uh, looks like Pavlicek behind him, pushing. It is Rene Pavlicek. Two liveries of the... Um, Paradigm Shift boys. Distinctly the same, but distinctly different as well. And it's just got the uh, slightly more colourful car, whereas Jax is a little bit more subdued just behind. Pavlicek follows Kevin down into turn one. Lamborghini versus BMW. How could you mistake that BMW? Reminds me of one of those. Is it James Bond film? It had that big ship that used to just swallow submarines and just open up at the front and just. Answers on a postcard if you remember the film, but I can remember the, remember the scene. That's how, uh, how attractive that BMW <laughs> is. Lovely from the back. Just Obviously, the, uh, the guy at BMW had large nostrils from whatever substance. Um, yeah. Anyway. Kevin 6, Pavlicek 7, Camonetto following them there in 8th. Filling in just behind there, Lexus of Team 77 in 9th. And Alan Kilic just hanging on to the back of Fillingham and Rose 10. As so they pulled away 3.5 seconds back to Jim Britton. Who's there on his own and a race by himself in 11th. Good old Chief Mega Corps work team. Try and say that quickly. 11th Binnacy teammate back there in 15th. In fact, that looks like a pretty decent battle to watch, doesn't it? These four back here, five back here. It's Andre Moult. Looks like he's got a head off Stiller, so the TV tower on your left showing Moult behind Stiller, but Moult on track is ahead. Should sort itself out when they go through the next checkpoint. There we go. Mole jumps up to 13th. Let's try from Andre Mole. Very little practice. Hadn't signed for a team before. Two hours before the race, I don't think. Three hours before the race. Jumps into the M4. And he's rocking along quite nicely. Thank you very much. Binnersley back there having a, a few little weaves, I think it was. And he's managed to get past the Porsche of Jeeva there and through turn one. So Binnersley up to 15th, Najiba down to 16th, behind them Magyar and Haskin 17th and 18th. Haskin recovering after that first lap off through the S's, lost a few spaces. Fisher Bergs, we're still trying to recover down there in 20th, struggling along in that Ferrari. And obviously, Andre is one of the ones that is a bit ring rusty, and feeling it as well by the looks of it. Pretty sure someone stole Andre Bergsman's body and put him in that Ferrari. That's very unlike Andre Bergsman. Line into the hairpin, it closed on him. In fact, it was never really open. Andre went for a move that wasn't really there. Um, come out the worst of that one. Go into Spoon there here as well. He's going to hang it off around the outside, try and hold on against the AMG. As it looks like. Was that Dusan Magyar? So Magyar was sideways further back down there. Bergs will find himself in a four way battle cover by a second. I 
so all kicking off further down the field. Meanwhile, up front, no surprise, Ralph Avella thunders on. 2.4 now ahead of Bolt and Horvath. There is Rob Horvath back there in third. Well, just starting to drop him now. Um, and sitting about two seconds, two and a half seconds off Arella. Two seconds ahead of Horvath now. Bolt and here's Horvath, followed by Dor and Alpha. Those three together, and then behind them, you can see the battle with Kevin Pavlicek, Camilletto, and Finningham. Pointing out for sixth position. Finning had just dropped Alan Kilic down there in 10th by three seconds as Finningham picks up the face. Pavlicek goes a bit wide out of Spoon. Pulls it back though, keeps the position, runs wide at the edge of Spoon as well. Be careful he doesn't pick up any time, otherwise the stewards will be looking at it. Well, Kevin goes through from Pavlicek and Camilletto. So, a cockpit can. There we go. Here from Camaletto's visor. Seems to have to check and chase down Kebig in front. So, going to turn one. Behind him, Cy Finningham pushing on as well. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten just in shot together. Jim Britton got, got down bad cock as well, fighting with him. Eleventh and twelfth. Two pretty much on their own. Britain. Some five and a half seconds off the back of Yannick Kilic now. Bangkok 12th, Andre Moll 13th. He's got his old mate with Binazi behind him. Great friends, those two. And I'll be quite happy to sit behind Andre until opportunity presents itself. Let's two go through the hairpin. Just behind them, you can see. Neil Stiller, got Ian Paskin's Ferrari. A couple of seconds behind him. Here is Paskin. TSR liveried Ferrari. Transatlantic Sim Racing, go and have a quick search for those guys. Nice group of guys you couldn't hope to meet. Say, so and join us Saturday. The um, Communities Collide Challenge, six communities all getting together in race room, uh, racing the Audi TT Cup car around three different circuits. That's going to be a real challenge and look forward to that. TSR guys. Chiba there in 17th in the Porsche. Uh, pretty lonely race back there. As is, I uh, managed to have Toth back there. Six seconds off the zebra, actually. Uh, two seconds ahead of not just Forsberg. Ian Fisher, there we go. It's better. Fisher goes through in 19th. Forsberg just behind in 20th. Seems to. He has got any issues with the hardware. He's making the most of it. Jazz up to 20th position. Back in the car for the first time today for some time. Good to see Jazz back doing his thing. Behind Forsberg. Thomas Stanek in the uh, Camel AMG. Excellent showing up on the replay. Let's just have a look at this one. This is teammate there. Oh, that Porsche just getting late there. Yep. So team assist. Unfortunately, the victim of that one. He's got a nice big dent in the door there from the 
Assuming the Porsche there of Schillinger. Cody Schillinger just getting it wrong. So Rodriguez, I think, in front there. Just drops a wheel out of the centre S's into the dirt. Have a look at that battle. Sakir and Travis Rodriguez. Wanting to have a 27th position back in the field. Plenty of action back there though, isn't there? Good racing all the way back from Forsberg back. There's the McLaren there of Sakir goes wide. That's given Rodriguez the drive. through here but the McLaren just seems to pull the pace out through there as they go down towards Spoon this doesn't look like it's going to be a recipe for disaster does it? The McLaren very quick, oh no just got it wrong there on the edge of the first part, oh no, oh no oh Sakia ruins Timo Sissi's race there he smacks in to the Mercedes coming back onto the track. Really bad entrance back onto the track. From Sakia, I'm sure the stewards will want to have a look at that one at some point. So McLaren of and Torres goes through. Also had a few issues, but that's not great. That's not great. Not what we want to see. Back up the other end of the field. Rather more sedate. <laughs> Ralph Farella. Three and a half seconds now. The gap between him and Bulk. Uh, Horvath keeping that gap to Bulk in second and third to two seconds. David Dort, Arella and. Uh, sorry, David Dort and Alpha, not Arella, are close. Let's go have a look at that battle. Uh, Dort looks like he's just pulled out a little bit more of a gap. Previous about a second now. Ball to Sanio Alpha, the M4. straight, we go up to about 150 miles an hour, 260 kph, 261 as he comes into T1. Throw two and out of there. See, sun completely gone now, starting to get dark, the track will start to get cool. So, those people that have gone off with their tyres, those temperatures have been perfect for them, now might find a bit of an issue as those that have pressured them for them to be slightly cooler conditions uh, might start coming to their own. So expect positions to change. Some of the guys that have gone off like a... God, for a minute there, I thought someone was going to T-bone him. <laughs> I've raced Suzuki before. I know there's a bridge and a tunnel. So yeah, tyres will start to play uh, more of a part in the race now as they start to go through the, uh, the temperature change as they go from day into night. And the guys only allowed two sets of tyres for the whole of the um, the event qualifying or practice qualifying and the race. So they've used the practice a setup in qualifying. Uh, or used the best out of a set anyway. So one fresh set which they may have put on the start of the race, so they may be on their qualifying tyres from then. So I expect to see a few different um, pit stop strategies coming into play as well. We're going to lead 3.6 over bulk from Horvath, two seconds to door. Second to Sanyo Alfa, you watched in fifth. Uh, Camaletto has got part, in fact, where is... Pavlicek's fallen back down to 10th. Instant for Pavlicek. 
Cameron Antoe, teammate, takes six from Kebig in seven. So I wonder if Kebig and Cameron and, and Pavlicek are coming together. Anything on my there's a few names down there. Obviously, we see all nice of them. A couple of Bergsmas, Fisher, but couldn't see the panic's name down there, so I think he's just stepped by somewhere. on some time but whatever it is Caminato's made the best of it he's got past Kebig there in sixth so Caminato up to sixth Kebig seventh Fillingham sat back watch Jackson he's moved up to eighth Yellen Kedic is ninth and now Pavlicek's got Jim Britton Dan Bancock Andre Moll and Rick Binnessy for company those five all pretty much on the same piece of tarmac seconds to pass him behind him so Benazzi is not going to really look in his rear view mirror here. Eyes oh, firmly on Andre Moll as he follows Moll up through the field. Nice pick up there from Benazzi. This is McLaren makes his way through there. That's a bit better. Dash on the McLaren, always like driving that, plenty of information. There's some brakes in it as well there as well. So Andre Moles had a few little nibbles on his rear bumper, a few scratches and scrapes on it there. They're away. All five of them. Front, it's as you were, Arella, Bulk, Horvath, Door, Alpha, and obviously spoke Cameto in sixth, Kevig seventh, Finnegan eighth, Yannin Kilic ninth, and in this battle between Travel Czech, Britain, Bangkok, Mall, and Binnersley, all for tenth position. Pavel Czech tries to recover from whatever happened to him. Chief Mega Corp car, Jim Britton chasing down Pavlicek. Pack marker just in front of them. Next on to Bergsma, you can see there in front of them in the gap of nine seconds and Tigan and Kinnich. So used to blue flags. And you certainly know how to deal with them. You've seen a few waves at the cars in front of him a few times, but now he's going to have to make way with this to not get there. Pavacek runs wide out of spoon. Jim Britton takes full advantage of that one. Pavacek keeps 11th though. Head of Badcock in 12th, Moll and Binnersley. Some very good friends in that battle back there. And they're going to go three wide down the straight here. Behind the TV tail on your left hand side. Let's get rid of that. So, Jim Britton and Rick Binnersley have made it through fantastic there. Binnersley's gone right through the field there. Followed his teammate through. Pavlicek loses two spaces there while Babcock and Moll wonder what happened. That McLaren, for that final part of the circuit, 
picking up three spaces in as many corners. And the crew, the, uh, crew chief team up and out to 10th and 11th. Nice going from them too. You see team orders in play there. Jim making sure Rick stays right behind him. So, Arella Bulk, Horvath, Dor, Alpha. That's as you were. Tony Alpha really starting to push David Dor now. As you can see. Good exit out of the chicane from the Bentley down the straight. There goes Horvath through the bottom of your picture. Right by Door and Alpha. In the background, only Jack Camaletto on his own up there in sixth position. Gap back to Finningham in seventh. Kebig just behind him in eighth with Alan Kilic. Keeping him honest there in ninth. And that gap back to Britain, Binnersley and the Pavlicek, Badcock, Mole, we Bottle. The mole battle we were watching. Uh, Paskin and Najeev back there, 15, 16. Toth, Forsberg, Stanek, Fisher. Uh, Rude Dennis up to 21st. Nice driving from Rude. Uh, Sanka came back there in 22nd. And Nicholas Wicklander down there in 23rd in the uh, NSX. Some new names, some old names. Great to see them all mixing it all together. Generally, some very good racing so far. With one or two dodgy re entries to the track. <laughs> Camaretto on his own in sixth position. Let's go back to that door alpha battle. Yeah, Najiba and Toth, yes, they're doing really well. Let's go and find one of them. So this last tough there. Off we ran for JJ Racing. And the Porsche. Teammate Najib, you can just see just ahead of him. In fact, he's just made his way there past that Dusan Magyar. Just moving over for him by the looks of it. Six, I think it was. Yep, it was. So, Nuziba and Toth there for JJ Racing, 15th and 16th. Thanks for following and watching the stream, guys. Appreciate your support. Pop a link in the chat. We'll go and have a look. If you've got any uh, social media you want us to go and have a look at, please let us know. That's the gap Arella's got, though, over bulk. Down to 3.2, so... Ralph just easing off on the, uh, on the pressure on the times. What's that through? Pavlicek and Badcock had a coming together. Let's go have a look at that one. Or oh, is that back at the chains? This is how uh, Binnersley got through, I wonder. Oh, a little touch there. That's what slowed them down. Yeah, Binnersley carried loads of pace, obviously, off there down the straight. And that's how he picked up those two places. Got mole before the uh, the chicane, so that's how Binnersley picked up those three places. And he's now broken team orders by the looks of it. He has. Jim will be hoping that the place is given back and that the, uh, the team will be saying, Rick, Jim is faster than you. They plough on towards the first pit stop. So just half an hour gone into the final hour of the race. Nobody yet to stop at the top 23. You can see they're on the uh, on the tower. If we look down to the others, still a Pavlicek. In fact, Pavlicek has stopped, so that's why he's in. And so far at the back, so Radek has stopped. First of the front runners to stop. Bergs has also been here for his tyre set, so he'll be uh, trying to make some time up with a clear track. Lisa Magyar, we saw at the back, uh, has also stopped. So those four, the only only four to stop so far. Everyone ahead of them. 
still to put into the pits for fuel and tyres. Back up front, Ralph Rally. You can see last that round, 2.015, best of 2.012. So, actually, pretty much on pace for a Rella. Just be that Cliff Bulk is putting some times in. 2.013, last lap of 2.02. So, still pulling the times out, the two front guys. Horvath not far behind in third. See there, 2015 is his best. Just dropped into a 202's last time around. Right up, Balkan Horvath. Door just behind him, you can see there, in fourth. He's got Pavlicek just in front of him. About to be lapped, or has been lapped. Have a check. Going about the pace of door, so you won't want it to get out of the way of David anytime soon, but you'll have to. With the blue flags. Door just behind door. Sonio Alpha. Eight second gap then back to Camaletto. He's pulled out four on Fillingham. Kevig, Nalin Kilic. Then, uh, as he has uh, obviously read his contract, has now dropped back behind Jim again. Obviously, the lawyers got involved very quickly there. And Rick has resumed his rightful spot behind Jim. <laughs> Bad cop, though, you can see just behind them. Aston Martin, keep them honest, KJ and Aston Martin. Mole just hanging on to the back of them as well. So Britain, Binnersy, Badcock, Mole. Obviously, Pavlicek dropped out of that battle for his pit stop. Saves it just so easy to do that. You get on the gas too soon out of the chicane over that slight right hand as you come out of that final corner. So easy to run wide there. Who was it in the F1? Um, did that a couple of years ago, straight into the wall there. Jim, though, not suffering that same fate, managed to keep it together on the grass, didn't apply the power too heavily, kept it pointed in the same direction. That's allowed teammate Binnersley and Dan Badcock through. Jim Britton slipped back to 12th behind Badcock, just ahead of Mole, though. Seven seconds back into Paskin, Zebra, and Tuth there from JJ Racing, Forsberg, Stanek, Ian Fisher, Rude, Dennis, and Cocaine, Travis Rodriguez, and Nicholas Wicklander. Still plowing around. It's for probably the best battle on track at the moment, though. Are on these regulars? Here's the Britain, Mole, and Badcock. Mole and Badcock taking a couple of sabbaticals here and there, but you see nothing to dissuade the talent that's still there. Blast with a sand blaster, the rust will be gone. If not gone already. So Pinnacy really pushing on here now. Oh, oh I said <laughs> famous commentator's last words. As he looks for the line into 130R, he gets those tyres on the grass. Easily done and easily recovered from Rick, so well done to him. Pinnacy Badcock, Britain. Through there, Jim, a little bit more circumspect this time out of that corner. Push too wide and drops in the slipstream of Dan Badcock and Andre Mole at the back of that fort. Britain taking a wide line out of two there. Ties too dirty on the marbles. 
very difficult to recover from that. Jim missed a lot of apexes. Those tyres looks like look like they're on their way out. Straight line. But Jim giving those curbs a lot of respect. Not risking the tyres over them. As he coasts into the hairpin. Malt on the brakes. Slowed down enough for the hatch actually got on the grass there. There's that. that cautious behind Britain. Gap back to Paskin now, eight seconds. So, Molly 13th, fine. Further up though, Arena still four seconds ahead of Bulk, who's got three seconds on Horvath, four seconds on Door. Door and Sanyo Alpha still, in fact, Door is in the pits. The door's in. Alpha goes through, so Alpha up to fourth. Door is going to drop down the field with him in the pits. Caronetto goes through as well, so Caronetto goes up to fifth. Filling him through. Pitts comes one of the Camel AMGs. So filling him up to sixth. Kebig goes through there in seventh. Blue flanks away for the Camel AMG. Lets him through. Nice going. Every door still in the pits. Long stop, 30 seconds, tyres and fuel. And Tothead only 15 goes through as well, so Door's going to go back to somewhere around 20th position here, I should think. Mind you, it's a big gap back to Forsberg there, as you can see. Door, so Door comes out now. Where is Forsberg on track? He's just going through. So Forsberg comes out ahead of Door. Fish is just crossing now, so he wants to come out in 17th position. Uh, Rotno, a red up. Just about to approach 130R, so two thirds of the track ahead, a red of door. And that comes into the chicane. Five seconds on Cliff Bulk now. Are really starting to put the hammer down. Just going to track the lap time as he crosses the line. 2.02.3 from Arella. Bolt crosses the line. 2.02.8. So about half a second. Cliff Bolt's losing to Arella here. Still good going. Intense racing team Cliff Bulk. Teammate David Dorr having made his pit stop down there in 16th place now. Paul Varth still continues there in third. Again, you're doing a cracking job of holding on to the back of Box Bentley. Signing out for there in fourth, having lost the. Uh, the wind break that was David Dor is now going to make his own way through the uh, the air. He scoops on that front of that BMW. Fortunately, in black doesn't look quite as bad, does it? Scooping up. Plenty of cooling. Camilletto in fifth. Being held up there by one of the McLarens. Let's him through, though. So Camilletto... Now he's on in fifth. Behind them, Finningham goes through in sixth. You can see Kevick just behind him in that white BMW in seventh. So that's your sixth and seventh. Alan Kilic, haven't seen much of him today. There he is in eighth. The Lexus going along quite nicely. Runs a little bit wide out of spoon, or into spoon rather. 
Covers though, gets that back going well. So, and Kilic continues. Bit of a gap then back to Binnersley, who's just coming through Spoon now. Dan Badcock right on his tail, keeping him honest. They've pulled two seconds on Britain after his uh, few excursions onto the grass to do a bit of mowing. Britain down to 11th, Ian Paskin 12th. I'm guessing that means that Mole has pitted. He has. Andre Mole's been into the pits. Comes out ahead of Pavlicek by quite a distance. And into the pits comes Binnersley. Binnersley in. Cock though goes through. Aces down Kilic. Nice driving here from Dan Badcock. Doesn't really put a foot wrong yet. Hey Dog Brian. Jim Britton powers on in ninth, Paskin tenth. Bulk has been in and out of the pits. He's down in eleventh. How much traffic has he got in front of him? Not a lot. Look at that. So Bulk has got a nice clear track ahead of him. Just looking at Paskin, where Paskin is, he's there. And Bulk all the way back there. So go through the, as he goes through the Degners rather through Degner one, last Degner two. So. It couldn't have worked that much better for Cliff Ball, traffic-wise. Plenty, uh, plenty of clear air to make time after that stop. So, nice work from his pit crew. Cliff Ball out and seven seconds ahead of Door. I think he's pulled a couple of seconds on David Door as well in the pit. So, Ball, Door, Binnersley have all stopped. Up front, though, Arella yet to stop. Alpha yet to stop. As I said, in fact, Horvath must be in the pits as well. As he's dropping back through the field. Yep, there is Horvath. Camaletto also rolling down pit road as he rolls into the pits as well. 45 minutes in, so slap bang in the middle of the race. So they're all in. And then Kilic moves up to fifth. So Arella, Alpha Fillingham, Kevich. Yannin Kilic, Bangkok now moves up to 6th, Britain 7th, those 7 yet to stop, Horvath the first of them to stop in 8th. Will he get out ahead of Cliff Bulk there? There is Horvath. Is that the Bentley of Bulk? It is just coming down the pitch straight, so Horvath Overcut really, bulk there. Had to work out if it was an undercut or an overcut. Bear with me. Overcut <laughs> from Horvath. Put him ahead of Cliff Bulk. So that's five or six seconds there. Horvath's made up in the pit stops. See how important it is to practice those pit stops. I was watching Arella earlier do lap after lap after lap. Itchley out, out lap, straight into the pits. Slamming it on 50 mile an hour, I think it was 50 kph pit laid speed limit. So, so much time to be lost in the pits, but also if you get it right, gain quite a lot as well. Uh, Arella, at least seven or eight times he went round and into the pits. So, I expect Ralph to be bang on his marks when he drops. There he is, straight in, stops up on the jacks. Thanks, Phil. So Sonia Alpha goes through to take the lead ahead must be the uh, lap car behind him of Radek Pavlicek so Alpha leads from Kevin Janin Kilic in third 
Ravenna's out. Looks like he's rolling. He is. Where is Horvath? Let's go and find out where Rob Horvath is. He's just come up to the chicane, so it looks like a runner's held his pit stop. Had the famous unreal engine crash. Hang me for a moment. Try and get this round again. As you watch Robert Horvath plough through. Jerky. Yep. Typical tap just through the pit stops. Remember, Alpha, Kibbage, Yanin, Kilic, Arella, Bulk, Horvath. In fact, Bulk's got ahead of Horvath by the looks of it. I wonder how that's happened. We missed that one. Thanks, uh, Unreal Engine. Right, we're just going to do a quick reboot. Bear with us for a second caller. And we'll get back into that in a second. Cameras load the places, so it will be. There we go. Right. Uh, let's get the broadcast. Let's see where we are. There we go. So Alpha still leads from Kebby. Jalen Kilic is in the pits. So the port got ahead of Horvath there. You might have seen it while I was wondering what to do. <laughs> Switching windows and God knows what. But yeah, Bulk made it past Horvath. And it's cut the lead to a relative to 2.5 seconds. So Cliff Bulk on whatever tyres he's got on there, two one flat, he is putting in some times here, and all of a sudden Arella has got a race on his hands. Let us know if the stream's alright, guys. You're in chat watching. I think it's okay. Get a few little jerks on the broadcasting tool here, but it seems to be okay now. Just a one in chat if it's okay. Speaking of ones, Sanyo Alpha. Coming down. This is pit stop, it is. Dobbs into the pits. On the brakes, up to the line. That was good. So Alpha into the pits. He's going to lose the lead to Kebig. Kebig just coming through the chicane. He goes through for yet another lap. So this time Kebig will win. Will win. Will lead the race rather. And then Kebig goes through. I wonder how much fuel was in that car. So Kevin goes through. Alpha in the pits. Arena with Cliff Bolt really bearing down on him now all of a sudden. Arena thought he'd dispatch that Bentley before the pit stops, but Cliff Bolt absolutely on it. Out of the pits. And running with traffic ahead of him as well. Travis Rodriguez just in front of him, you can see there. Fighting over with Dusan Magyar back there for 21st position. And has been past a few back markers in his time. But right now, he won't want to see these two in front of him with a bulk absolutely racing down him. In fact, Rodriguez, great driving from him there. Moves over, lets Arella through. Just imagine 
he does, he'll let um, Hulk through as well on the run down towards the Degners. So through goes Magyar, Hulk's through past Rodriguez, nice driving from Travis there. Magyar gets the blue flag. As you imagine, up to the hairpin, he'll let Arella through and Bulk, he does. Nice driving from him as well there. Magyar lets the two leaders through to continue his fight with Rodriguez. Now Arella get away again. Kevin though, still going. Bring a chicane, is he in the pits this time? He is. So Kevin relin relinquishes the lead of the race. Arella and Bulk just coming up to 130R to take the lead back. Horvath dropped back nine seconds now behind Cliff Bulk and Arella. So whatever happened to Horvath, they're out of the pits. Obviously, got Bulk pulling away at a massive rate of knots. Sonia Alpha has managed to jump David Dorr up to fifth. In fact, what will be fourth when Kebby comes out of the pits as Arella goes through with Bulk. Kebby, you can see, still sat there on his marks, awaiting the service. But Arella, Bulk are through. Half Alpha. Camaletto just crossing the line there in sixth. There is Kebby. He's just about to leave the pits now. To go to the heli camp, see where he pops out of Camaletto. In fact, there goes Camaletto. Oh, it's a shame for the two back markers there. Just got caught. As Alpha came out of the pitch, trying to get out of his way, and Cy Finningham having to take some avoiding action there behind Green Porsche. Finningham losing precious time here on Kebig. There is Jack Camaretto. I wanted to see Cy Finningham. He'll be screaming in his VR headset. For Porsche to get out of his way. Blue flags waving as you can see. Now Mr Porsche if you can just move over, which he does. Pushes Fillingham onto the grass. <laughs> Sight will be absolutely roasting right now. There'll be some North Yorkshire expletives <laughs> coming out. In fact, and the Porsche goes off just to just to spite him. Anyway, that's one problem solved for Cy Fillingham. But that's given Kevig a little bit of a run there. Julian Kevig already up to 130R. And he's given himself three or four seconds now on Cy Fillingham. Just giving him that much of a breathing room. Hey Nigel, how you doing man? Good to see you in chat. Thanks all for watching. Good stuff. Up to 16 at the moment, people watching. Concurrent, although that's just dropped off now I've said that. <laughs> but thanks all for being along, much appreciated. Arella and Bulk. The gap now, less than half a second. Let's go and watch that battle. Cliff Bulk's view of the metallic blue Lexus of Ralph Arella. These two, some 10 seconds ahead of third place man, Robert Horvath. Sonia Earth has managed to cut the gap to him to three seconds now. Camaletto up to fifth. Door the loser in the pitch stops. He's down to sixth. Kevig seventh. Fillingham eighth. Yannick Kilic is ninth. Binnesley tenth. Bangkok eleventh. Mole 12th, Jim Britton down to 13th, getting lost out at the pit stops. 
Askin still 14th there behind him. Stella Pavlicek's made it back up to 16th. Toth, Stanek, Nishba, Magyar, Schillinger, Kakane and Torres. Ayrton, and 23rd in the McLaren. Ralph deep into the chicane. And that's going to give Bulk a run down the straight. Morello's managed to get that Lexus moving again. Deep into the chicane there, though, Ralph Morello. That is the gap to the lead, Morello from Bulk. Half an hour to go, fueled and tired to the end. Got a feeling these two will be at it for the next 31 and a half minutes. They're pretty much on par in qualifying, and they're pretty much on par in the race. I was just about to say, it looks like none of them have made a mistake yet, but Bulk manages to go for the first part of Degna at 45 degrees. Slides it through, drifts it through Degna 1, but gets it straight for the second Degna. And still manages to hang it back onto the back of that Lexus. Some driving there from Cliff Bulk. Although, bit of a code move there, I think, halfway through that corner. He's just uh, settled back into rhythm here, Cliff. He might have dropped half a second just to get his... Uh, his underwear sorted out, but that's all done again. A bit of adrenaline rush through, and now we're back to racing. You can see Bob with the fastest lap of the race just into the two minutes. So just into 201, 201.0. So let's see if he gets his chicane right this time. He does, Arella's much better this time. Bulk as well. True they go to complete another lap. Arella Bulk from Horvath. Alpha now catching Horvath as well. That gap, just 1.7. There you go, Sonia Alpha, and you can see Horvath's blue and white Lamborghini plowing down the straight just in front of him. That's the gap between third and fourth. Gap back then to Camaletto, having a nice quiet ride in fifth. He's got David Dor bearing down him in sixth there, you can just see behind. Okay, big back behind them, seven. Five seconds off them. Uh, Finningham just losing a bit of time for the traffic. 4.8 off the back of Kebig. Alan Kilic now starting to bear down on Finningham. Binnesley, Badcock, Mole, Britain. Those four have been at it pretty much all race. Haskin and Stiller. Pavlicek still back there in 16th, although bearing down on Stiller. Let's kind of have a look at Radek. Where is he? There, and there is Stiller just in front of him. Into the chicane. See the big wheel starting to be lit up now. Check and straight into T1. She's down through the gears. Really hanging on to the back of that BMW. to say it no way through but has he done it I think he might have done still not really expecting the Lamborghini to appear on his outside there but it was that's a nice move from Pavlicek if he can get it done still trying to hold it around the outside but that's almost impossible and that's a nice move from Radek Pavlicek moves up to 15th place good driving from both of them but slightly better driving from Pavlicek it just slides wide through the first deck nut. Sorry, through the second deck nut. That's just allowed Stiller to have a move on him. But Pavlicek goes... Oh! 
had to break on the apex of the uh, of the hairpin there and still a very aware to take avoid in action not go straight into the back of the Lamborghini but my hooker by crook Pavlicek's made it past and made the pass stick by the looks of it get it through Spoon straight which he has done so still will continue that fight let's go back to the back to the guys up front as you were Bella and Bulk some tension those two cabins let me tell you Bella's been there all before as you know eight time champion with RR leagues and he's been under pressure like this before but this is constant from Bulk Proved immensely since our last GT3 Masters. Cliff Bog had a bit. It didn't have much luck in that last series, but um, certainly didn't have this pace. Uh, I don't need to tell Ralph that either. He'll be sick of the sight of that bent in his rear view mirror. The pace after the pit stop phase from Bulk. Oh, he just saves it on the outside of Spoon there. That could have been almost race ending. You don't want to get it wrong there and have it snap back on you. So, Ralph Reller not really having many instants here. Cliff Bolk with pace, but with balls of steel as well. Reller and Bolk, Horvath third, Alpha fourth. In fact, Alpha's right on the back now of Horvath. with a lot fresher tyres when he was the last of the uh, last of the field to pit so he left much fresher tyres for the rest of the race than Robert Horvath he's really making it making it stick in that M4 get back to 12 seconds of David Dorr who's got past Camaletto so Dorr up to 5th Camaletto 6th Kevin Derry in seventh still. Gapstone to Fillingham. Alan Kilich in ninth. is still tenth from Badcock and Mole. Jim Britton. Askin fourteenth. Pavlicek we saw move up to fifteenth from Stiller. Toth, Stanek, Ejba, Magyar, Schillinger, Cocaine and Ayrton Torres. Then up back there in twenty-third. But fittingly, closest battle on track is between Arella and Bog for the lead. Half a second. This is the second closest battle for third and fourth between Horvath and Alpha. base in the stream nice to see you man glad you found us welcome along you've got 23 minutes to go it's been an hour and a half race just into the last half an hour bulk and arella fight out up front one half half an alpha You, of Robert Horvath, Lamborghini. Horvath. Oh, oh, really putting him under pressure there. Might have just touched. If you see a snout impression on the back of his Lamborghini, that's what the M4's just left on the back of it. Horvath just eased off through the S's. To get right in the back of him. Oh, now recovered though, up to the hairpin. And they go. Oh, 
back front. Angelella and Bork still fighting it out for the lead. Making their way through traffic. just in front of Varela. I really want to see that move out of the way before he goes through the S's. The flag's waving. No, Varela's going to have to deal with it. Going through one and two and up through the centre S's. MG moves out of the way for two leaders. Nice drive in there. Still, Bolt doesn't get any luck from the back markers. Still, Arella plows on in the lead. In control. Fair to say, Bolt pushing a little bit more than Arella. Oh, hard on the brakes from Bolt. You can see he's working the wheel of that Bentley so hard. He's making luck in the least the way he's chucking it around. 20 minutes to go, pressure really starting to make its way. Pavlicek has got past Kislav Toth, that's off 16th there. Pavlicek 15th, Stella Stanek, but JJ Racing team back there in 19th, he's got his hands full by the looks of it. Thomas Stanek there with the camel. In fact, they're going to battle it up the hill. BMW M4 looking a little bit battered there. Not sure if that was still up. I think it might have been, you know. That's the chicane. It's in Eshba. Right, they go. Nice fighting out for 17th. In fact, still has taken that battered BMW into the pits for repair, so he'll drop down the field. Meanwhile, up front, we've not missed anything. Arena and Bolt still close. Warvath and Alpha still close. Just over half a second the gap between first and second and third and fourth. Big gap then to Door in fifth. Camaletto's got a drive through. Oh, he'll be spitting feathers at that one. Camaletto. He's going to lose the best part of 25 seconds. He drives through the pits. That's going to put him back into the Billingham. In fact, he's going to put back to Billingsley and Badcock battle. All very good friends, those three, so I'd be interested if it does throw him back just behind them. Camaletto put his foot down to make up for some time there. Obviously, track limits of use. He's got him that drive through. Through the pit lane, he's going to lose to Kevig, he's going to lose to Yellen Kilic. Probably going to lose out to Fillingham, so he will come out in that uh, Binnersley Badcock Mole battle. Jim Britton now falling off the back of that 12 seconds, in fact, Mole 10 seconds off the back of Badcock, so Binnersley and Dan Badcock. Right out between them. Ray Mole on his return to Assetto Corsa Competizione back in 12th and in Britain. After a few excursions back there in 13th. Benazi flying the flag though for Team Crew Chief. Let's see if Camaletto comes in for his drive through this time. 
Lamborghini certainly seems to be flying. Canata goes through again. Well, he's got a clear track to make some time, obviously. David Door just in front of him there. Still first and second, still three quarters of a second between the two of them. Come up on traffic as well, so keep an eye on that. More of half an alpha, same with them. 12 seconds back behind that battle, same battle goes on. But with no traffic by looks for ahead of them. Or Camilato with his issues. Kevig, uh, Yannick Kilic, filling them Binnersley. And as he has had Dan Badcock snapping at his heels at most of the race. It's the same gap again between Binnersley and Badcock, about three quarters of a second. Sort of battle earlier between Stanek and Nesbutt, that still rages. MG still fighting off the Porsche. Are. She came all oh, deep from the AMG driver. Stanek gets it wrong. This is Elizabeth's chance. It's too quick there. Had to get out of it to ensure he didn't hit the AMG. And that's cost him the overtake. Stanek lives to fight another day. But I've murdered your name, Petter. I'm sorry. Tell me a DM after the race in Discord and tell me how to pronounce it. I won't do it again, I promise. You can see further back in the field there. Wolfsburg, Rude Dennis, Wicklander. Schlinger's in the pits. Berg's back in 26th position. Who'd have thought that? Still after his BMW got repaired, 27. Sakir back there in 28th. Fisher back there in 29th. 10 laps down, I think he's out of the race. Let's have a look. Marked up. Team of Sis. Not had much luck. Got hunted earlier in the race, as you remember. He's sitting there in the pits as well. So anyway. Goerella and Bolk through. Half a second. Bolk just starting to reapply the pressure. He's taking a little bit of a uh, laps to just chill himself out a bit. Now he's going to get back on it behind Arella. It's a quarter of an hour to go. Can he force Ralph Arella into a mistake? No one's done it yet, as far as I'm aware. We're about to see if Cliff Bolt can do it here. Now, fact, still as you were. Dort, Yannick, Killage, Kevich, Finnegan, Binnesley, Badcock. Camelletto's come out behind Dan Badcock, some seven seconds or so behind Badcock. That's really cost Camelletto that drive through. He's down in 11th. Head of Molo in 12th. Britain and Paskin 13th and 14th with Pavlicek. Toth, Stanek. Neshiba. Neshiba? Neshiba. No Z in it. Nez, Nizhiba. Petters in 18th. Dusan Magyar 19th. Sam Kikane down there in 20th. TSR guys. Uh, Torres Forsberg and Rude Dennis. 23rd still rotating round. Those guys two laps down. Two laps down from this battle. It seems like a very fast game of chess this, doesn't it? Uh, and Bolk. See Cliff Bolk. I said, when you're making that Bentley not seem half as big and bulky as it is. Well, up, making it like he's on his way to the golf course in that Lexus. No stress, no fuss. 
just from a very impatient cliff bog behind him trying to get past. Paskin, have a check right behind him. Appreciate sure Ian and the TSR boys supporting the series. Thanks, guys. Have you along. both made it through just I'm not sure who that was making his way back onto the track there's been some dodgy re-entries to be sure so far in front of um, the Lamborghini just twitching a little bit in fact had a few incidents and rushes with uh, things so it might start to flicker front though and that bolt still there Sanyo Alpha I just get past this back marker and they do Alpha's really pushing Horvath now third final place on the podium up for grads Horvath goes nice and tight into the hairpin, it doesn't allow Alpha any room there. Same as what happened really early with Bergsmart, if you remember. Allow that inside line up the inside. Car moves out of the way to allow these two to continue to race. The final 10 minutes has gone very quickly, I must admit. Renat Bulk, Horvath Alpha. Doors in fifth from Janin Kilic is up to sixth now. He's got past Kevig. Seventh. So Kevig must have made a bit of an error. Kevig is up to eighth. Badcock ninth. Finnegan tenth. Camelette obviously down to eleventh after that drive through. But he's right at the back of Finnegan. But where's Finnegan? Why is he down to tenth? Must have had a mistake there on Finnegan. So drop some time going wide somewhere. Oh, that Lexus is looking slightly the worse for wet. Yep, it is. So Fillingham's obviously had an off somewhere. Just dropped him down to 10th behind Benazir and Badcock. Camaletto's passed him as well. Through, see if we had a list of incidents. I didn't see a Daffy Dawn over there somewhere. Uh, let's see what happened there. Oh, car parked on the outside of one of the S's there. Some of the re entries, not great, I must admit. Is he worked on? Stewards will be busy with that, just letting everyone know. Bulk now into two minutes, fastest lap, Cliff Bulk. Two minutes, 8.12. That compares to Arella, 2.012. And Cliff Bulk certainly got the pace, but you can see consistency as always of Ralph Arella just tells so many tells so many stories rather and so many reasons why there's eight stars on the side of that car Ralph Arella got to bulk two seconds that will come down again as Clef Bulk starts to climb onto the back of him again 
but Ralph Farella, as consistent as steel as always. Most times I'd shut up in case I gave the famous commentator's curse, but Ralph Farella is better than that. Farella from bulk. Alpha's got a head of Horvath. Missed that one. So you're watching Farella and Bulk. So expect Alpha to pull away. He's not put much wrong today either. Went long for that pitch stop. overtake oh that's naughty that's very naughty from Sanya Alpha just imagine the stewards will have something to say about that and Alpha will lose that place if Horvath doesn't take it back Horvath really just got to sit there now Wait, his turn, unless he's actually going to try for it. Can't wait for the stewards to make the decision. Get it on track. So she can there go again. Very much a Austin Senna incident, that one. turning into Horvath as he was on the inside to they managed to continue though Horvath still fighting although I should imagine so that will be go to the stewards unfair pass with five minutes to go looks down to a second again with a red up battle between Alpha and Horvath raging on excuse me Janin Kilic has just got past David Dor down the straight so Janin Kilic has had a fantastically quiet race but he's up to fifth in the mould of Ralph Varela just not quite as quick but certainly as consistent hardly put a foot wrong from what we've seen Janin Kilic and he's made his way through the field back to fifth Head of David Dor and Kebig, been in season eighth. Oh, look, an Unreal Engine's crashed again. Oh my god, with four minutes to go, can we do this really quickly? Hold on. Let's do this really, really quickly. See how quick we can do it. Right, that's done that. I need to get Unreal Engine running. Hang on a second. Get that going. Let's connect that. Let's try again. Sorry, guys. With five minutes to go. Green light, green light. Go, go, go. the end of the race. Go on. Where are we? There we go. Where has Cliff Bolt gone? He's back there, moving pretty slowly. What a time for Unreal Engine to crash. Fantastic. Cheers, guys. But whatever it was, I presume it was some kind of error into the chicane or through 130R. But that's killed the race. Ralph Arella, nine seconds now ahead of Bulk. Alpha in third, just ahead of Horvath. Janin Kilic in fifth. Door six, Kevin Binnersley, ba uh, Badcock still behind Binnersley with a second. Uh, Camaletto, Moll, Britton, Paskin, Pavlicek, Toth, Stanek, Nejba, Magyar, Fillingham. Fillingham down to 19th in the pits. Obviously struggling with damage. 
after that big bang at the front he's moving out the pits now cocaine up to 19th right past him Fillingham 20th with Dennis Wicklander and Bergsma managed to make it up to 23rd in the end Andre Bergsma not having the best day but whatever happened to Cliff Bolt we'll never know at least until after the race I did look on edge pretty much all race though Whereas Ralph Arella really didn't have any sweat apart from the fact he just mopped it up, didn't he? He has no pressure, the guy. Just mop, soaks it up, squeezes it out, and waits for somebody else to make a mistake. That's been Ralph Arella's way for some time, since I've known him anyway. And he continues to do it. Fouls on regardless. And on to the final lap he goes. And the final corner, one more lap. Another victory awaits Ralph Arella. Okay, the leader is on the final lap now. Give it all you can. So there's Arella. See, if Bolt just coming through in the background there. See if we can hop on to the replay after the race. See if we can see what happened. Alpha. Horvath still battling. We know what happened between those two. Still battling it out. I have got Discord chat sitting, waiting in the background for when the race is over. After seeing some of the things I've seen today, I'm not sure I want to put it up, but we'll put it up anyway. Will be hovering over the uh, the uh, the button to take it down. <laughs> Guys, you had a chance to like the video despite all the interruptions and the uh, the crashes. I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed and hit the notification bell, now's the time to do it. And then next time you won't miss when the stream kicks. You'll be there, ready to watch. Rella is coming up past the back marker there up to 130R for the final time and he goes up to the chicane round one here at Suzuka GT3 Masters Series from RR Leagues about to be taken after a stunningly competent and brave and everything performance by Ralph Rowe, everything we expect just soaks up pressure fought off Cliff Bolk all the way through that race comes home for the win Bolk's going to come home second for all the way almost all the way to the line he's going to come home second just behind him you can see Alpha and Horvath come home for third and fourth Yannick Kilic had a cracking race like I said very quiet Kept his nose clean through pretty much all of it. Everyone around him was losing their heads. He kept his. He's going to come home in fifth. Nice racing from Yannick Kilic. Good to have you on board, sir. Behind them, you can just see David Dort coming home for sixth. Kepic is going to come home for seventh. Damn, Badcock managed to get Binnersley by the looks of it. He's going to come home for eighth. In as the ninth, great racing from Dan Badcock. Welcome back, sir. Camonetto's going to come home for tenth. Another unfortunate Cy Finningham there, you can see. Balls up on the outside, he's had his stuff done. Andre Moult, welcome back to our league, sir. He's going to cross the line in the eleventh. Never really left us, but good to have you back. Just in the background there, see Jim Britton. Cross the line for the crew chief, Megacorp once again I mean engine has crashed again so going to come home passing is going to be 13th TSR Pavlicek 14th these guys are going to be lapped down uh, Toth Stanek Nezba Magyar Cocaine Dennis Bergsma uh, not Dennis Bergsma Rude Dennis Andre Bergsma 
Still out Wicklander. And obviously further down the field we've got the others. There we go. Congratulations, Ralph Varela. Congratulations to Cliff Bolg and uh, Daniel Alpha and Robert Horvath will be taking it out the back with gloves after the race. And as I say, Yellen Kilic had a fantastic race there. Come home in fifth from Door Kevich Badcock. Who also had another fantastic race. Uh, ben is the camera to unfortunate with his drive through. Uh, that probably would have put him ahead of Yannin Kilic, I should imagine, for fifth, but that's cost him dear. Down to tenth. Oh, and Britain, 11th and 12th, Paskin, Pavlicek, and so on. Right, let's go and pick up the Discord chat, shall we? Find. Here we go. So here we go. You can see Timo Sisko already there, annoyed with what happened earlier. Don't blame him, it wasn't the best. Great race. And as Martin Kennens there says, um, some of the liveries there, fantastic to see. Uh, really, really impressive, especially under the lights as well at Suzuka. Oh, we're just watching the, um, the chat. I'll try and get the replay up. Some of the and uh, accidents as well from the race. Uh, of course, because of all those crashes, we've missed a few. The bulk overtime. Let's see if we can get back to that one just before it crashed. See if that has what happened to Cliff Bolt there at the end. The uh, Discord seems to stop what's going. That's the replay. So I can see the controls. Go, it was on pretty much down here, wasn't it? Let's find Cliff Bulk. Is that Rella? No, it's a feeling of it. We'll get there. There's a Rella. There's Bulk. Let's see if this is going to do it before it crashes. So here's Bulk. Two. Uh, sorry, down through the chicane through 130R. Let's get through there. To the chicane. It's good. Can go wide on the exit. No. Never know what happened to. Oh, let's hope he didn't run into a back mark. I've just seen a back mark as a head. Do hope that's not what it was. So Arella gets stuck behind him. I've got a nasty feeling we saw that Porsche stuck 90 degrees on the track, didn't we? Arella has a few little flashes of right behind him. And it all got very messy. That's somebody hit that Porsche 90 degrees, face one in the lap. And then Rella and Bulk are going to take it into the hairpin. Bulk's going to make a move. About another 20 seconds before it crashes. Let's hope it's not going to be the one. Just for the race. Look at 
run out of time. Yeah, we are. Let's try the other replay. See if that had it on at the very start. I don't think it did. I think when we jumped to that replay, he was already, already behind. Last replay. There we go. The last seven minutes. See you in chat. Give me a second. I'll sort of see what we can do. Thanks, Timo, for dropping into the stream. Appreciate it, man. There, I think. Cliff bolt there, I think it is. Let's see if we can find out what happened there. Uh, so you're wide through 130R. Looks like there's a big accident there. And once again, a green Porsche. Oh, oh wow. Well, that's not much you can say about that, is that? Car 110. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Not really what our leagues is about, I have to say. Uh, turn, right, that 36 turns for it, see if I can find it. Escape from there quickly. <laughs> Let's have a look. Steak. Oh no, that was the accident, wasn't it? With the uh, the aftermath of the Arella uh, incident with that Porsche. Just hope that wasn't car 110. I'll find it now. I don't know what you want me to look at at turn three, but sure. Stewards are certainly going to be busy after this one. As it always seems to be the case these days in ACC. Anyway, let's get back to the Discord chat and see what's happening over there. Oh. 